What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. Hope everyone had a good or fantastic weekend. Oh, well, South Carolina's weekend. Well, started off with uh, newly hired wide receiver coach James Coley. Uh, hear a lot about him and his recruiting. Didn't know that much about him as far as his development of players. I know Jackpot talked about it. Rob talked about it on their show last night. Um, what do we know about James Coley? A hell of a recruiter, I guess. He was an offensive coordinator at one time for Georgia. Uh, I'm assuming he got fired, but they hired him back. Uh, do you understand James Coley's point of view with the way South Carolina's program is right now? And the fan base walking both sides of the fence on whether Shane Beamer will even be our coach at the end of the year. Depending on what uh, the team looks like this year, he bolts for Georgia. Uh, you know, Georgia's top of the hill right now, dude. I mean, I guess you kind of look at it. Coley's not a South Carolina guy. Has no real ties to the Gamecocks. Uh, what do you say about it? I mean, people ask my opinion about it. I did a live show Saturday. What did I think about him leaving it? It is what it is, I guess. There's more wide receiver coaches out there. Um, you just got to go find them, right? Uh, I tell you, I don't, I don't know if the coach that was at James Madison, wide receiver coach that's been at James Madison is still at James Madison. But, I mean, there was some talent that has been developed out of that school as far as a smaller school when it comes to wide receiver. Now it's at the SEC type. Uh, players, uh, yeah, as we could tell with Juice Wells that came to South Carolina. Juice Wells was pretty developed, had a good career there at James Madison. There's some other, I don't know, maybe somebody snatched that guy up. He could be somewhere else. I didn't do a whole lot of research on it, but I'm just saying there's there's more wide receiver coaches, position coaches out there that you can get your hands on. Um, find somebody that loves South Carolina, maybe, uh, Maybe there's some guys out there somewhere. We did lose Justin Stepp. Now that kind of comes back and stings you. If you're Shane Beamer, it's kind of a bad look that you move Justin Stepp, you lose Justin Stepp, and then the guy you replaced him with uh, bolts on you after, you know, a month or whatever it is. Uh, it is. Like my opinion on it, can't hardly bitch at the kids now for moving around, hitting the transfer portal, chasing the bag. When you watch the coaches do it, you know, he came in, um, the kids there accepted the change. I'm assuming uh, maybe there's more behind it than we know. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe the, maybe it wasn't Jelly. We don't know. We, we're not in the building. Uh, maybe it just didn't gel like Shane Beamer thought it would. Uh, he didn't fire him, but maybe Coley just didn't feel he was at home. If he ain't at home, don't stay there. Uh, best to move on now. And uh, get somebody before spring practice starts coming off a of spring break. Uh, get out and find you a guy. Get them established. Get them in the building uh, before spring practice, spring game. Uh, and see how it goes. I I'm sure there's someone out there. We'll hear about it next couple. I, I don't think they'll wait too long. They'll want to have a guy in the house. Uh, that I think the kids will know before they leave for... Uh, before spring break, they'll know who their coach would be. Uh, I don't think it'll be a long process, honestly. I'm sure there was already some list of names. Um, by the time we heard about it, I'm sure it wasn't. It had been talked about. It had been rumored. Uh, the contracts had already been approved, so I'm sure someone had to go out and, uh, you know, just let people know it wasn't going to happen. He's leaving. So they've probably been in search before it was announced. Anyway, Don Staley continues to roll, beats up Kentucky pretty bad. Um, the girls are looking better at the right time, getting ready to get into season and get into uh, postseason play. They did win the uh, SEC regular season championship, or at least a share of it as of right now. Um, but they're undefeated. So if they continue to go undefeated the rest of the season, that's a lock. Uh, actually, after the win yesterday, that may be a lock. Uh, that could be a lock because I don't know of anyone else that has had to think how many games we got left. There's not many left on the book. So, anyway, uh, the men 
they get back to their winning ways, head out to uh, the SIP and beat up on Ole Miss. Uh, never really seemed that close of a game. I tried to watch it when I could. Mama Tori and I were out Saturday. I got back, I clicked it on. But it always seemed to be somewhere in the double digit lead. Uh, so it didn't seem much. There was a cheap shot in that game uh, from one of the Ole Miss guys. Looked like he threw a flying elbow uh, for no reason. I mean, he was just running down the court. The South Carolina kid was standing there, and the guy just runs by and tries to uh, sling an elbow at him. I don't know if it was me. I probably got kicked out of the game. Kudos to the South Carolina kid for not retaliating. Uh, <laughs> Uh, or the, the other guys on the team not retaliating. Uh, let let the uh, officials handle it, and that kid needs to be suspended. But that that's really the Gamecock news of the weekend. I mean, I don't think there's you know recruiting's not really back in full swing yet. I think they got a couple more weeks before uh, kids can start coming in uh, on the recruiting front. So uh, other than that, it's been quiet. Been kind of quiet around South Carolina sports. The rooster man's been kind of busy getting ready uh get everything packed up head out thursday for the old slob olympics in panama city uh, go have some fun with the other youtubers if anybody that watches this video is in the vicinity of panama city wants to come hang out and meet some of the guys if you never met them in person uh come on hang out man don't wait for an invitation in the mail that ain't coming it's verbal invitation and you just show up uh days in beachside We'll all be out there running around somewhere. Everybody's got little agendas they want to get done. Uh, Mama Tori and myself, our, our agenda for Friday is a beach day. Uh, we're going to leave fairly early on Thursday, try to get there, hang out a little bit Thursday afternoon, spend the day on the beach Friday, just chill, relax, and uh, have some fun. And then, you know, we'll keep up with our sports the best way we can. Uh, try to put a little videos out uh, while we're there so everyone gets to see what goes on, what we do, the fun that we have, uh, and try to make the thing bigger. Uh, anyway, appreciate everybody always coming and hanging out with me. That's just a little bit of Gamecock stuff look, that I dropped my opinion on. Uh, we'll see who South Carolina hires as the wide receiver coach. Uh, but until then, everyone have a fantastic rest of your Monday and get your week started out right. Positive. Little victories. Remember what Rooster tells you. Little victories every day. No matter how small it is, win something today. Even if it's just having a good attitude. Peace.